Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 399. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 398 to 405. Hey, in this trick right here, we have quantity, new price, old price. And here's a formula. Uh, someone showed me, and they said, hey, how come I'm not getting uh, an answer? And what this formula is doing is it's taking the new price, the whole range, the fact that we're taking a range minus a range makes it an array formula. So this, this minus this. Anytime we get a difference that's positive, so this number minus this number, that means we have an increase in price. We get a positive number. Anytime it's greater than zero, which means positive, then what do we want to do? We want to take that same uh, two ranges, subtract them, and multiply them by quantity. So in essence, we want this minus this, the difference times 7. Everything in this column, where the difference between these two columns is positive, we want to multiply times the quantity and add. Ah, so here's a great formula. It works just fine, ah, but they're using NAs. And some people very much like to use NAs. It means it's not available. If I delete this, boom, that works. But what do you do? if you want those NAs. No problem, we're going to amend the formula. Equals sum, and we're going to say if. We're going to do the same thing, except for we're going to add one extra if to check. This is the if function. It needs a logical test. We're going to use a logical function called the is number. We're just going to say, hey, tell me everything in there. It's going to be true everywhere, except for where there's an NA. right? So that's the first one. Then we say if, and we do our array. This range minus this range. When that's greater than 0, then what do we want? So right now we have when there's a true here and a true here, which means the difference is positive, then what do we want? We want in parentheses this range minus this range. Close parentheses times the quantity. And now close parentheses, and I'm watching my screen tips. I still have an if, so I close parentheses. We don't need anything for the false, because the false just will be ignored. And then finally, the sum screen tip shows up. I close parentheses. This is an array formula, so I hold Control Shift and Enter. So there you go. Uh, if you have to have those NAs, which sometimes they're nice, uh, try the is number. All right, we'll see you next trick.